Well, hey, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. So, Gemini, this is going to be your week ahead in love and finances. We're going to get right into your reading and see what we have for you guys this week. This is for Gemini. This is for Gemini. The first fourth, right at the end, we have the two of swords. A lot of decisions you guys are needing to make. Wow, here with judgment. I see uh, reconciliation as far as love. I also see phone calls, maybe decisions when it comes down to a job, if it's more than one. A lot of burden, though. What's going on, Gemini? A lot of stress, a lot of burden here overthinking that type of thing i kind of want to put it like this this is kind of where i felt like it should have been anyway a lot of decisions here um so we do so we do see that you guys are weighed down now of course this could be with finances this could be with family um you know uh maybe there's been a lot of over opinionated people that you guys have been around but i want to tell you here with the two of swords there's going to be some decisions that you guys are going to be needing to make here. I really do feel like it's going to be after maybe a phone call or something like that. We see that here with the judgment card. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. I want to show you what's at the bottom. We do have the death card. So it talks about um, some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel like this does talk about transformation or a change. Something that had ended, okay, which could be causing all of this stress and, and, and anxiety, um, especially if it has something to do with, you know, family, okay? Some of you guys actually may have experienced an actual death in the family. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's keep going for Gemini. Poor Gemini. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, I have three of cups. So celebration, I do see that things are going to get better. I do see that here in a love, in a love relationship, I do see that there is some type of reuniting here in your reading, definitely. Here with justice, things have been unfair. There will be fairness. I see um, someone trying to come in here and make something right. Ah, oh, man, it's very heavy in your reading. Um, here with the Page of Wands, yeah, communication. Someone is having a lot of anxiety about communicating with you. Here with the Six of Swords, yeah, peace, peace, peace. You need it. Someone else is needing it. This is definitely not just your energy, Gemini. This is someone else. Look at this. Huge opportunities with finances. A phone call, like I said before, when it comes down to finances, but also opportunity to make something happen when it comes down to a love relationship that could be potential long term. I see long term here, celebration, that type of thing. So what we're going to do is go ahead and clarify. And then afterward, of course, we're going to get into a few finance cards. But we see here, this is going to be really major with your finances. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. This is going to be for Gemini. Let's start with the 10 of, Ten of Wands. <clears throat> for Gemini. Ten of Wands. Here with the Emperor. This is someone you guys are dealing with. They are very, I mean, that's, uh, maybe there's some guilt. I feel, I, I, the first thing I heard was guilt. Something that has happened in the past. This could be what some, uh, maybe, um, you know, you guys have a very strict boss or very demanding work schedule. Some of you guys have anxiety over that. Here with the Four of Pentacles here. In a love situation, someone cannot let you go. They are in extreme pain. From what I'm feeling here. Nine of Swords. Oh yeah. Huge opportunity. 
some of you guys have been worried about finances, but I'm telling you, you there's going to be no need for it after a while. Huge opportunity with finances with that Ace of Pentacles. You had two of them in your reading. Now, also, when it comes down to a love relationship, I'm telling you, some of you guys may be married or marriage is going to be is, is a huge factor here as far as long term committed. OK, um, it could be marriage or a long term committed relationship. But that's where I'm seeing you guys are headed. Someone is having anxiety. This could actually be a good read. Like someone knows that they want to propose and they're stressed. They're stressed out. They don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, but overall, this reading is amazing, amazing read here. Let's get the Two of Swords. A lot of communication here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Page of Cups. So if you guys have been in some type of situation in the past with someone that you guys know, this is a soulmate from what I feel. Um, and also someone who is um, that you've dealt with in the past. They're stressing. They're stressing. And I told you, I felt that person more than your energy, Gemini. Um, you know, what should I do? I need to make this work. It's like this this heavy energy of like fearfulness that you guys are going to walk away from them. So they're definitely going to come back in here. Maybe some type of an apology, like I said before, with the justice card in this page of cups, wanting, wanting to make peace. Let's get the judgment card. Wow. This is their reading, not yours, Gemini. <laughs> this is definitely their reading. Oh, yeah. So here we see with the five of swords that there was some type of sabotaging energy in the past. This is what they want to come in here and um, apologize for. You guys may have been knowing this person for a while, but again, like I said, this is going to end up being something long term from what I'm seeing. Now, also, when it comes down to finances, like I said, this is going to be really good financially. Let's get the justice card for Gemini. Justice card for Gemini. Justice card. Yeah, something that was ruined in the past, right? So someone wants to come in and make it right. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah, someone wants to reunite. Celebration here. Huge opportunities. There's going to be... A, I, I, I saw the Three of Cups, even with this Ace of Pentacles. Some type of achievement financially is what I'm seeing for you guys also. Finances and love. Amazing amazing week ahead just in general you know time is fluid but this is a beautiful reading let's get the six of swords some of you guys may be traveling too or you maybe you have a long distance lover yeah traveling for job opportunities just in general this is also someone is saying i want to be with you i you know i choose you <laughs> over the rest yeah opportunities with finances here Maybe you guys are going to be moving to a different home. This reading is fantastic, Gemini. Let's go ahead. Let's get the Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. There you go. Fulfillment. Whoa. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Whatever it is that you guys are wanting you are going to get this is love this is long-term committed relationship this is amazing but we saw that you guys have suffered some you know because of endings like i said it could be a multiple of things um it could be with finances family i love but you guys are going to get that back three of cups talks about happiness celebration and we definitely see that in your reading and a wish fulfillment wow we're going to go ahead and get some of your finance cards here for you, Gemini. First ones that came out. Here I have explore and growth. We see that. It's like even the, <laughs> the oracle cards are in harmony with your reading. It says expect good news and money matters. A raise, a new job. Money soon will start flowing in. Promising opportunities are awaiting, which we saw right here with the opportunity card. Here with explore. 
It says, keep trying, especially if you guys have been looking for a job. It says, keep trying. There are no mistakes, just opportunities to learn and grow. It says, you may need to go uh, and search and trust the unknown. That is where the magic lies. This is in love and finances for a lot of you. There is going to be a lot of uh, opportunities presented to you and options in love also um, here for those who are single. One more. Wow. Expect the unexpected. Here it says prepare for any financial loss. That's for some of you. Now, this is not anything. It doesn't have to be huge. I always have to tell everybody that, um, you know, I had an unexpected uh, financial, um, you know, something I had to pay for with my car. OK. Um, and this also talks about any unexpected bills. It doesn't have to be the thing that's like, it doesn't have to look like how she's looking, okay? <laughs> so just expect that for some. But it talks about preparing for it. Deal with things head on and try to prepare for the unexpected before it happens. So, you know, savings, especially if you guys have not been saving, just make sure you guys save because there could be some unexpected expenses that you guys may have to, um, you know, uh, pay for. Now, here at the bottom of the deck, I have emotions. I'm telling you, love and finances, it's all in your reading. Some of you guys may be sad over a love, uh, love connection. If you have your own business, there's some effort you're not putting into your work or your job because, you know, um, you're thinking about the pain that you've experienced with maybe a loved one or a love situation. So this does just talk about putting more effort and see that all of these beautiful things that are here waiting for you, Gemini, such a beautiful reading. This is your look ahead for love and finances, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys have not, like and subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, um, you guys can look in the description box for that. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.